is calling the shots? Who has the power to disrupt the business, cause people to lose jobs, but can't mandate the police to be a presence where a large gathering would be? Helping prevent anything from happening, keeping the peace. Who can sleep at night knowing you have officers disregarding calls to work the nightclubs, but take jobs they believe would be an easy night? What kind of leadership is going on here? Once again, who was in charge? You have multiple bars calling for presence. One of the places is a chill bar, mostly sitting and eating in the in and out type stuff. And other, the other club, excuse me, is an urban nightclub hosting hundreds of people with more of a party atmosphere. You send them to where they are less likely to be needed. You guys, at this point in time, are a joke, not leaders or elders. You're a body of opportunists, dictators, and horrible cover-up artists. <laughs> Who do not have the whole public interest at heart, only their own and their public. Last week, the question was posed to me by a council member. Have we took steps to try to get other protection besides the APD? The answer is no. And as I thought about it, why should we? All this sounds like extra hoops to jump through. If other businesses in the same radius can get responses, why can't we? Is it because ABT, APD isn't qualified to handle minority crowds? Is it because y'all would rather the urban youth continue making stupid, rash decisions and continue eliminating yourself to have a reason to try to make us move or shut down? It's one of the three, or maybe all. As an urban establishment, who do you think we are? Circus animals? I can see that you guys are insinuating that our patrons are, which is why I suspect that they can get the same protection as the Barley House on St. Patrick's Day, the Euro Gyro every weekend, or the Rubber Ducks games. The picture is getting clearer. Can y'all see it? If not, <laughs> let me tell you how it seems to me and my ten, ten, excuse me, tens of thousands of followers at home. It seems that certain establishments are a priority and the urban businesses are not even a thought. I also hear you guys should change business models. <laughs> We've been paying our rent and bills just fine. This is an assault on the urban community. Hip-hop, believe it or not, is the number one genre in the world since 2018, and that's what, excuse me, that's what I grew up listening to. Instead of doing your job and helping keep the peace, you stand back, wait for something to happen, and rush in like y'all coming to save the day. So if you as the police department and the downtown partnership have openly showed that whatever happens, happens, why must we go above and beyond to protect parking lots we do not own or see revenue from? I got charged numerous times before, and we had $30,000 artists in the building. Mr. Smith, your three minutes are out. I bet, and I'll be back next week. Thank you.